All right, you know what we say, five minutes over time, every day over time will make us dangerous. Let me read this little part here and we'll do the video and then check out pre-markets and also look at my portfolio. Though the stock market is overpriced, it's still probably not a bad investment, all things considered. Renowned economist Robert Schiller told CNBC on Tuesday. Let's see what he says. Now of decline in the seasonally adjusted number. They're actually going down at, at something like 6% a year. Uh, 19 of the 20 cities saw slower uh, annual returns yeah. in July. And yet we got these August new home sales uh, a couple days ago that were best in six years. Do you think July uh, was a low in any sense? That was new home. Yep. Uh, existing sales have been weakening. Pending home sales have been weakening. So there, there is sign of some weakening. Not dramatic, but it's, yeah. What do you think is driving this? Is it an exit of the cash buyer, lending standards being tight? Well, these are very complicated and not big moves. Can, can I cite the biggest city, the biggest drop? San Francisco is down uh, four, tenths, what was it, four tenths of a percent. Uh, that's the worst. It also happens to have been the city that went up the most. Between 2009 and just before, it was up two-thirds over 65 percent so my san francisco story is this is a story this is in fact this is my interpretation it's their comeuppance they were the most bubbly city it's time for a correction there all right Doug, so one there's a great line in here it says home prices continue to rise at two to three times the rate of inflation to me that says still good investment not a bad buy, idea to buy yeah, a home yeah it, if it doesn't go down it might be an okay investment. We're living in a world of uh, disappointing investments. So, absolutely. I, I say the same thing about the stock market. You know, I think it's overpriced. It's not, it's not a bad investment, all things considered. And where is supply beginning to come out and overweighing demand? I mean, I notice you still have good New York numbers, but I see yeah. grains everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and this is nerdy, nerdy, nerdy.com. Basically, they're thinking they're, they think the stock market is still going to do okay. Thought it was interesting when he talked about San Francisco, how it was up 67 percent, and now it's being recorrected. But he kind of threw some other stuff out there. If you know anything about San Francisco, you read between the lines. Let's go here to the pre markets. See what's up. All right, look like um, 6% up on the S&P, up on, on the Dow, still under 2,000 for the S&P. That's where most people, the top 500 companies is what the S&P is. I don't know if I ever said that before. Russell in the United States. NASDAQ up, Russell's down, well, Europe's up, Asia Pacific's down, commodities is down, gold is down. Wow, okay. Uh, currencies is about a mix. Treasuries, about a mix, and volatility in the indexes and sectors and indices. All right, let's go to my portfolio real quick. I lost money in something. General Motors, all right? I'm up still 10% on my portfolio. And wow, look at that. Double down move right there, y'all. That's slim dunk in your face. That's seventeen hundred dollars. I'm up. Um, I don't know what that's about, but yeah, it is what it is. How to handle unknown stuff. Um, man, I'm up seventeen hundred bucks, and I was down nine hundred. So, if you could listen to me, put out there on the Facebook page today. Do you think I should sell and take my profit, or should I ride this out and try to get to two sixty? Um, 260 or 261. I'd love for you to give me ideas on what you think I should do on that. All right, that's all I got for today. Five minutes a day over time will make you dangerous. Have a good one.